Good evening, space flight enthusiasts. So, just a couple hours after I released a video arguing that it's best to stick with SLS for now until Starship is ready to replace it in order to ensure that we reach the moon as rapidly as possible, and NASA announces that Artemis 2 is going to be delayed again this time from September 2025 to April of 2026, meaning that the manned lunar landing utilizing Lunar Starship will not happen until mid-2027. Honestly, as far as the human landing on the lunar surface is concerned, I think that that was a much more realistic date anyway, but the only thing that might have been giving SLS a saving grace was the fact that Artemis 2 was going to be coming up in 2025, a year where the budget is already set for further funding for SLS and a variety of other reasons that would make Jared Isaacman a little less likely to cancel SLS until at least that mission goes through. NASA seems to be blissfully unaware that every one of these delays means that a radical change to Artemis is almost certainly going to happen. Bill Nelson just had this to say, quote, space is demanding and we and our industry and international partners need this time to make sure that the Orion capsule is ready to safely deliver our astronauts to deep space and back to Earth. Now, after an extremely in-depth study of Orion's heat shield and its performance during the re-entry from a lunar trajectory, which is a very, very difficult trajectory to re-enter from just because of the velocity involved, it has been determined that the trajectory will have to be changed to something a little bit more gentle to reduce the speed of re-entry in order to make sure that the heat shield endures the inferno of re entry a little bit better than it did during Artemis 1. And so NASA needs to figure out exactly how that trajectory is going to be achieved. Quote, for Artemis 2, engineers will limit how long Orion spends in the temperature range in which Artemis 1's heat shield phenomenon occurred by modifying how far Orion can fly between when it enters Earth's atmosphere and lands, according to NASA officials in an Artemis frequently asked questions that was published today. The revised trajectory will also bring the Ar Artemis 2 Orion down in the Pacific Ocean closer to San Diego than pre previously planned, meaning that it will be easier to get help to the missions for astronauts if anything goes wrong during re-entry. Artemis 2 would have been delayed by a year or so to late 2026 if a new heat shield replacement had been required, but according to NASA, that isn't needed, at least not for this mission. Quote, the updated timeline for the Artemis 2 flight is informed by technical issues engineers are troubleshooting, including with an Orion battery issue and its environmental control life support system. The heat shield was installed in June of 2023, and the root cause investigation took place in parallel to other assembly and testing activities to preserve as much schedule as possible, unquote. Again, there were some quotes also from the astronauts who were supposed to be going on the mission, talking about how they need to be as thorough as possible and as safe as possible to make sure Artemis 2 goes perfectly. They talk about how they can't wait to ride Orion to the moon, but in my opinion, the odds of this mission actually happening are becoming more and more remote by the day. I think if Jared Isaacman didn't already have a case to shut down SLS and look for other solutions in the very near future, he certainly has an even better case now. I'll keep you up to date. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay angry about space.